Hello, it is Monday, it is a new weekly reading vlog. So, I actually finally managed to start my vlog on a Monday and hopefully I won't delete this footage like I did the week before. But, I have just had my lunch, it's like 4 o'clock, don't come at me, it's 5 o'clock. Um, I just, it's been a day. I have edited and uploaded my vlog for next week. This week, you'll see it tomorrow, but like last week, anyway. And I have 80 pages left of Love Theoretically. I am annotating with my pens, highlighting and an or underlining and annotating. So I am taking it a lot slower. Once I finish that though, I'm going to go on and get through the rest of my TBR. This week's going to be a good week for reading. She says, and then it won't be. This week, I'm getting my new bookshelves. So you will hopefully get to see my new bookshelves. Getting built. Maybe not getting built. Getting put up. Because, like, oh my god. Getting redone. God knows what I'm going to do with them. But, uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I do need to pull some books. And decide what I'm doing for my specials shelf. Special edition shelf. But, but yeah. Um, I'm going to go because I'm making myself a cup of tea and my arm is slowly dying so I'll update you later Hello, it is Tuesday and um, my library's a bit pulled apart that, uh, that wall here, this wall here this is where my bookshelves usually are so this is all my books between those two things all my books. I've got ones like on the floor and here as well. It's uh, it's that's all my books. Um, I have new bookshelves coming tomorrow. I have the Billy bookshelves coming that I'm getting for my birthday, the white ones. So, <laughs> Kay's currently putting the old bookshelves um somewhere else because they're in the way at the moment. So yeah, these are these are all emptied. I've got empty wall. This is where there was the little unit that didn't quite get taken off before decorating. But yeah, this is this is gonna be all nice new for the bookshelves tomorrow. And then the task begins of putting them back on. Vicky's gonna come and help me, which is amazing. Um Kay's friend will also be here and has offered to help, so there should be four of us putting stuff back on the shelves. So hopefully it won't take that long. Taking them off doesn't take that long, putting them back on takes friggin' ages. You've done it, you know. Um, I also need to decide how I'm going to arrange them because in this corner there's going to be like a small one. So it's like kind of turns a corner rather than just like do do. Um, I'm excited. We need to do something about these cables as well. It's an aerial port for those of you old enough to remember. Uh, Oh, okay, has got a statue. Okay. But yeah. Um, I am selling my big cases. I don't think anybody's close enough that if they want them, they can come get them. So, um, yeah. I... Yeah, I will show you. I don't know if I'll update you on anything else later, but I'll show you my shelves when they're up. So, some progress has been made today, but not a lot. Um, the shelves are up and have a lot of books in but this one still needs filled that one still needs fully built and filled I've still got these books and these books to go so yikes I think I'm just going to do this one all historical fiction um, I'll show you once it's done but like I think that's what I'm going to do here and I am shower just like 11 o'clock so case like you need to go to bed so yeah I'll update you more tomorrow. Hello, I am back from the hairdressers with a nice new mop. Um, new mop, it's just trimmed. But I'm so happy. Like, I'm trying to get it healthy, so. Yeah, if you hear the fan, uh, I, I don't care because it's really, really warm. So, this is what I've got going on so far. Um, this is the. What's going on so far? So, what I've done is this whole then one down here is all my contemporary and romance and then everything else is like kind of like all this is like fantasy but like also favourites 
Um, I've got a Percy Jackson there and Cassie Claire there. I think I might move one of them so it's not like series series. And then I've just done this with this series, which I said I was never going to do, but it gives me more room. Um, and then I've put my Patricia Cornwell up there. I've put all of my historical fiction down to here. And then this is my non-fiction. And then this one so far is... Um, so this is Carrie Hope Fletcher and Giovanna Fletcher and also John Green. Don't ask me why I always bundle them together, but I do. Good. And then Dan Brown. I did initially want to put Dan Brown with my Patricia Cornwell, but that just didn't work out. And then this one's like, so I've got Saga up there because it's huge. And then I've got my classics, Clothbound classics there. And then these are all my special editions. And then my Heartstoppers. And then more special editions. Um, and that's where the Lunar Chronicle special edition is going to go as well. Um, that is those Peregrines and then the King Chronicles and then this is MK. I, I'm not sure this is one of the old ones, which is, as you can see, a good bit smaller. So I actually have more room, I just don't, I just don't feel like I have more room. Because I've still got stuff to put away that I don't know where I'm going to put it. Um... Because I know I need to leave room, so like the Schwab shelf, I still need to put my Cassidy Blakes on there and then Threads of Power when it comes out. And then um, this one, she releases a book ev roughly every six months. Um, the gap that's on this side there are the books that I've loaned to Vicky. Um, so there will be books going in there and then they change the cover halfway through, as you can see. Um, but yeah, like I've tried to leave room for books that I know are going to be... Like, because I've got a gap here for the Shadow Cabinet, but obviously there's going to be, like, four books eventually. Um, there's four books in the Casket Girls series, so I've left space here. And... I've left room on my Percy Jackson shelf for Percy Jackson and the Chalice of the Gods. Like, I feel like I've not got enough space, but... I do, but, like, I've got... Like, this is all for historical fictions. Because I know, like, again, like, I know I'm getting a, other books that go in there. So, like, the Chanel Clayton series, the Havana saga, this, the Cuba saga, whatever it's called, um, will be going in there. There's, like, five books in that so far. The ghost ship is going in that space because that's making most stuff. I'm still unsure whether to turn them and stack them or leave them this way. Because, technically, this, 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 and this... Are all one series and then this this and the ghost ship are another series i don't know i have left room here because well technically i've left room here because i wanted all my elizabeth wine to stay together and the only way to do that was to take them off this shelf so i've got space in this shelf now to add more books in i'm sure i know i'm not at least getting another kate moss book after um City of Tears because uh, after Ghost Ship, sorry, because Vicky is currently reading the book and she's going to give it to me afterwards. I don't know if I think she's, I, I think it's one that I'm getting to keep. Like, she doesn't, I'm not just borrowing it to read it, like, I think she's actually giving me it. Um, and then, like, down here is my non fiction. So, I've got like this is all like, um, in my head, it made sense how I split it up. So, this is like about like people now so like Gina Dawson's What's the Tea, Disability Visibility, um, oh, what's this one called? Disfigured and The Anthropocene Reviewed so it's like nowadays like things that are happening now current events if you will and then this is all like these are all like archaeological so like this is about the history of Polynesians this is about Egypt, Neanderthals this one and the one that's going to go in there is like um, she's a archaeologist, that's the word, um, genetics, which I might move, picks again like an older people, and then my space books by Becky Smithhurst, and then all these are all my forensic, or some of my forensic books, like most of my forensic sort of story-ish books, and then down here I've got like my forensic, forensic books, like textbooks, um, and then like all the memoirs that I've got and again I know I'm getting more Billy Connolly so I've left the space there. Um, 
I'm trying to leave space for books I know that where I need to put them. Um, and yeah, I just feel like I don't have. I mean, I've still got like up here that I can use because I did used to have my Percy Jackson's. No, not Percy Jackson. What did I have up there? I had books up there, and then I had other books on the other one. I had my Cassandra Clare. Oh, that was it. Wasn't it Schwab? Yeah, I, I used to have like my Schwab and then my Cassie Clare and then my classics. Well, obviously, I've moved them all down. But this is what we've got so far. And then I've still got I've got the flannel because it's roasting. I've still got some books over there. I've got some books over here that I'm going to unhaul. And there's books like sitting on the shelves here because I have no idea where to put them. Why, like, why did I do this to myself? Why did I do this to myself? Hello, it is Friday, it is finally the weekend, and it is Red, White and Royal Blue Day. I only discovered yesterday that Red, White and Royal Blue comes out today because I thought it came out tomorrow. So I will be watching that right after I finish this. Um, I'm watching a video while I eat my lunch, and um, then I will be watching Red, White and Royal Blue. So... We will see how I am. I will show you my, my library is like almost finished. So I'll show you later on. Oh my god, I look as tired as I feel today. Like, oh, it is the Friday-est of Fridays. And I don't mean that in like a let's go out and get drunk and have fun. And I mean like, it's been a week. But yeah, I am gonna, I've got my collection of pyjamas here. That's great, I need to put... I need to throw them in the wash. Um, just ignore me. I'm going. I'm. Just, I'm gonna go. It's happening. It's happening. I'm so excited. I can't even tell you how excited I am right now. Play it. Yeah. Hello, and welcome to Saturday. Um, as you can see, I'm in my library and I have styled my hair how I would normally style it now, so I'm feeling much better today. Um, this is what we've got so far. I will show you in a second, like flip, I'll flip you around, but, uh, there's like, um, it's mostly away. I think I showed you some like bits before. Um, I've got like... All of this happening. I still need to tidy my desk because it's a mess. These books still need to go somewhere. I've got books downstairs. I need to go my TBR cart. I'll show you this one. So this gap is going to be reserved for my Lunar Chronicles special edition. Which shall be coming any time now. I don't know exactly when it is. But yeah, we'll turn out how to stop time just now. So. I should really get a new profile picture since like my hair's done and stuff. I will uh I'll do that. I'll do that if I need to get changed. But yeah, I've got my Schwab shelf. I've got Lila Bard. It's not perfect, it's not perfect, but we're happy with it just now. So we've also got this, this is all like I say, this was non fiction, this is historical fiction. And K put my Diana Gabaldon ones back up because, right, okay, like, this is tall. Like, I, I barely go to the top of these books. Like, there's still, like, stuff that needs to be tidied away and stuff. Um, and the whole room kind of needs sorted out. And, like, this one still needs a shelf, but it's missing one of the little feet things. So, I've ordered that from mm. Ikea and... It'll be sent out at some point. Him, she's currently hiding under the desk. I don't know why. Hi. Is that your spot now? Apparently that's his spot now. It is, oh my god. It has just been like apocalyptic rain. And now we're back to sunny. It is actually so humid right now that the humidity is like seeping into the house. Um, So that's fun. And I got a message today. Somebody is wanting to come pick up two of these. So... That's good, um, because the, you know, selling these is going towards the cost of these. I'm so happy though. I'm so happy with them so far. Um, 
they probably do need a redouble and I don't know what to do with this. So like, I'm thinking about maybe moving my contemporaries to somewhere else and putting things that I'm not going to really touch down here. Maybe, maybe I should put my non-fiction down there because there's so little of it. What I could do, I could move my non-fiction to here and just like do the bottom shelf. And then, mm, but that's not enough space. I was going to say I could move my historical and um, I don't know I don't know I'll figure it out at some point it's still got I've got a lot of keys to get a new desk it's going to be a lot smaller so um we're not finished at all with this I do also have books that I need to unhaul but I'll show you them later I I should really clean my desk I will I'm gonna I think I'm gonna tidy my desk I'm gonna get a profile photo and then tidy my desk good morning good afternoon it's like almost one o'clock. I am absolutely shattered. I could not sleep last night at all. I was still up at like the back of four. Um, but it did mean that I got this much read of Icebreaker. So I'm like 270 odd pages in. Uh, 271 pages in. And I am really liking it. I'm really, really enjoying it. Uh, it reminds me of something else, but I can't remember what I'm saying. I've said um, the main characters are kind of reminding me of Jack and Elsie from Love Theoretically, but the general story of like all the hockey guys going from being like kind of like big scary guys to a freaking litter of puppies whenever Anastasia walks in, and the captain be like, "What happened to you guys? Like, what is going on?" Is reminding me of something, but I can't place it. But currently I'm sprints with Becca, Tori, and Siobhan, and we did sprints last night as well. <sighs> but yeah, I'm hoping to finish at least this book. I've also brought down the ghost ship because I want to read it before I go see Kate Moss next month. I have time to sort of digest. But other than that, I'm just going to be. Not too much. Somebody should be coming to pick up some of the bookcases today, which is good. I'm kind of hoping somebody wants three of them, and this person wants one or two. So I'm kind of hoping that they take one today so the other person can take three. But we shall see. I will update you. Hello. This is not a flattering angle, but. I just remembered I forgot to finish off this vlog, so this is this is the angle we're getting. Um, so I finished Icebreaker, really liked it. It's like a four four point five star. Um, I really liked the discussions that it had on sex positivity and slut shaming and like the way it was so just diverse without thinking about it. Like it was just you know, thrown in there without anybody actually questioning it um, or making a big deal of it. It was just, they just existed as, like, diverse people. Um, so, yeah, I really liked it. It did seem to go on for a while. I don't know if that's just, again, because I was listening to the audiobook, but I just felt like it went on forever and it was a bit, like, long for a romance. But, like, if we're talking more on the lit ficky side of contemporary, then yes. But it also wasn't sophisticated enough for a lot I don't know. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So. <sighs> bedtime now. I have to get off for work in the morning. And I am tired. My makeup still hasn't come all the way off yet. I've not been able to get it like. Uh, so we'll see what I look like tomorrow. But yeah. Um, if you got this far. And you want to leave an emoji to let me know that you were here put in some sort of like ice skating style hockey related emoji for icebreaker um all my links and stuff are down below and i will see you in my next video